Many men have tried to accomplish in a lifetime what this one man has in 12 years. But Bishop Robertson, who is an anointed preacher, teacher, motivator, man of vision, and a man of action, has also proven himself to be a leader worth following. My first time even before seeing Bishop, I used to work for 1540 WRJ Rejoice Radio, and it was my first time hearing Bishop. And uh, when I first first heard his ministry on, on, on radio when I was a DJ playing the tapes, I seen the thing, I was like, man, that's an old dude hollering all the time. But uh, that's just to be honest, but then by the time that you know, I came, came to Mount Gilead and I met Bishop for the first time, you know, dating a young lady here who's now my wife, but I met Bishop and you know, when she told him my name, the first thing he said was, man, Sir Walter Scott, man, you better do something with that name. And so uh, that, that whole thing was just, you know, the man is about uh, purpose and drive and accomplish something for the kingdom. So that's, that's kind of definitely what stuck in my head from that initial contact. My, the, um, I was at the old church before he came, and my old pastor, he was, he was pretty old. So when I seen this young guy, you know, coming in, I was like, who, you know, who is that? Who is that? I was just like, I mean, he, re he was real young, you know, like, looked down to earth. So I was like, this guy's real young. My old pastor, he was pretty up, he was old. We were all very close at that time because physically and emotionally because we were all in the kitchen all the time. And then um, whenever we got out of the kitchen, all of us were very close. We hung together through three services on Sundays. It was it's nice. And even when we transferred over to the high school, we were all very close. Man, as a youth pastor, I would say Bishop's influence on my ministry is definitely not quitting. And sticking with it and staying with it and having this tenacity that I don't care what it might look like, you're going to win in spite of and just having a tenacious attitude about it. So I try to carry that, at, that attitude, that mindset, despite whatever might take place negative, uh, still just having a forward-thinking mindset, and then even on the, on the positive stuff, you know, just really celebrating those things, giving God glory for that, but not settling with that, but moving on to the next thing that we can accomplish. I most definitely would not be at the school that I'm in now. Um, I've been able to take classes and go different places just because um, the anointing of dance was instilled in me, not because, you know, I'm the great dancer that I am. But um, with the dance ministry and Elder Williams and everyone I've met and all the connections I've made through Mount Gilead, I was able to be set apart in different auditions. And just God's anointing, it was definitely because of Bishop's decision to have even a dance ministry. Bishop was a, you know, he was a football player himself, so, you know, we used to go, like, when he first came to the church, we used to go and play football, you know, all the men versus you. And, you know, of course, he used to always think he could, you know, do all this stuff, you know, since he was a football player. But, yeah, I mean, we've, talk, we've talked a lot about, um, you know, me playing football and, you know, him telling me about, you know, his experiences through football and, you know, just giving me advice on, you know, taking it to college, the college level. So he's really been there, you know, and helped, you know, been right there. As a Christian rapper, as an MC, I mean, straight up, it's about motivation. Um, I know even for a new project that I have coming out, I, you know, I have a picture and, you know, I told the guy that's doing the graphic design, you know, it's a, it's a quote that is actually on my birthday, but from Bishop's motivational calendar, Thoughts to Walk By. And the quote that I'm going to have on there is, you can't hit a moving target. So that's, that's my mindset, being motivated, getting people to keep moving, get up, do something. And then especially, you know, as a believer, you know, rapping for God, do something for the kingdom, do something uh, that'll have a ripple effect in eternity. So uh, definitely motivation and action, getting it done. Bishop, i just like to thank you um, for everything you do. You and Copas, I mean, y'all been a very big influence in my life. Um, I'd like to thank you for everything y'all have done. To both Bishop and co-pastor, thank you so much for just doing what God would have you to do so that I could do what God would have me to do. Um, thank you for everything you've done, and I'm going to take everything you've ever said, every quote you said, you know, good is the enemy of great, everything you ever said, and just take it with me and just go forward with it, having a good attitude and being able to be a disciple of Christ. Thank you so much. Bishop. I personally want to thank you for just being a man of integrity, for being an example uh, for, as a man, and then Bishop and co-pastor as, 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 as a team together. That's one thing that stuck with me and my wife. Uh, we definitely see ourselves in you as a married couple uh, and just uh, having each other's back in ministry. So definitely want to say love you on behalf of my wife. Love you. On behalf of the entire Georgian Youth Ministry, we love you. Thank you for being our spiritual father.